Bunnies in jackets with brass buttons. However do you imagine such things? Mm -hmm. We will not sell a great number of copies, but I think we can turn a small profit. We would like to publish your little book, Miss Potter. Beatrix Potter saw the world differently. Any more of that, and I'll paint you out. <clears throat> but no one saw things her way. I've written a children's story. Beatrix should be my niece. She makes pots. Ceramics, Nigel. Until she met someone. Mr. Norman Wall. Who believed in her. Oh. I've given your book a great deal of attention. Which other books have you supervised? Personally? Yes. This will be my first. Ah. I wish you wouldn't invite tradespeople into the house. They carry dust. Now we have created a book. My dear Miss Potter, you are an author. The real story. Jemima, stop that. Stop what? Just some silliness. Will happen off the page. Your father does not approve, and neither do I. I didn't want to marry a man simply because he was rich enough to take care of me. But does that mean that I'm never to be loved? Beatrix, you have a chance for happiness. Take it. Discover the remarkable story. This behavior shows scant regard for your father's money. Well, one day I shall make enough money to my own. Of a woman whose imagination... My head is so full of stories. <laughs> ...inspired the world. Our daughter is famous, Helen. You're the only person who doesn't know it. Renée Zellweger. My dear lady, at your service. Ewan McGregor. Oh! And Emily Watson. If someone came along whom I loved, I would trample my mother. <laughs> it is not a choice, father. I must make my own way. Miss Potter.